Hey, welcome to Gun Stuff. Today we had a chance to come out and shoot the SAR USA K245. All right, the K2 is a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol. It's a double action, single action, meaning it can be fired uh, with it with cocked or uncocked. Uh, one of the things that you'll be noticing in some of these videos is that the safety may be on uh, with it uh, cocked with the safety on. Uh, this allows, the safety on this allows for you to be able to carry this locked and loaded or cocked and locked as some people say, meaning that there's a round in the chamber, the hammer is cocked to the rear and the safety is on just like a 1911 45. So you may see that a little bit in the video as we're shooting here, but this is a, a 45 caliber. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of accuracy testing. We had a couple different types of ammo and we're going to go ahead and start off with that and we'll go from there. So we're going to be starting off with the Hornaday American Gunner. This is a 185 grain XTP round. Going hot. All right, as usual, I'm shooting five shot groups just to uh, account for any user uh, or operator error, trigger squeeze, things like that, just to get a larger sampling size. So that was our 185 grain. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change over to our, 100, our 230 grain Federal HSTs. All right, another five shot group. And as you can see, even when you put this in, uh, even when I put the safety on, this is, uh, this, this is kind of a mashup of a couple different types of guns of uh, between a SIG and a Beretta. The grip is kind of felt, feels like a Beretta. Uh, some of the controls feel a little bit more like SIG, but uh, when you put this on safe, it stays locked to the rear. So if you want to uh, drop the hammer on this, you're gonna have to, Pull, uh, take safety off, go ahead and ride it home, or of course clear the gun and then pull the trigger, then put it on safe. But if you want to carry it in locked and loaded position, that's one of the uh, things that you're going to have to do with this. So, so it's meant to be carried locked and cocked, as they say. So let's go ahead and go down and take a look at our groups. So we're down here at seven yards. So we, we, we shot seven yards, five rounds each uh, of each type. And you can see here our uh, 230 grain uh, Federal and our Hornaday American Gunner here. So we got about a one inch group at, uh, at seven yards. And then this is probably around closer to a half inch group as you can see just using this as a, as a comparison for the, uh, for the group size. One of the things that we're finding is with the SAR guns is that the uh, HSTs and the, the Federal HSTs are shooting really well out of these guns. And I, I don't know if that's a by design or if this matches more of a caliber that they use uh, when they build these guns overseas. And if this is something that matches more what the military and, and stuff that it's designed for over there. Because Sar Salomar has been building guns for over 100 years overseas in Turkey. So they, this is by no means anything new for them. They've been around just as long as any other gun manufacturer, but they may be building them for a round that is primarily used over there. So the, uh, this, the, this group here is, is much better than the, than the other. This is what we're finding with all of them. So we're going to go ahead and step back now. We're going to do a couple more, uh, couple more targets at uh, 50 and 100. So we're still back here at seven yards. Uh, we're gonna do a little shooting on steel, talk about the gun a little bit. So this comes with two 14 round mags, all steel mags. Again, I talked about this uh, being forged steel. And those of you that, uh, you know, you're looking at your, your barrels and your uppers and stuff like that on some of these, we all know that forged is gonna be a lot stronger than anything cast or billet or anything like that, uh, whether it be billet steel or anything like that. So uh, comes with two magazines of uh, 14 rounds, Nice big beaver tail on the back, and uh, it has a really good full grip on here. Grip kind of mimics that of the uh, full-size Beretta, the M9s, things like that that, that a lot of us are uh, used to seeing and handling out there. So still going to take a couple shots with it. Okay, so wow, this so this thing on on my reset. So uh, 
the single action rounds on these are extremely light. So as I was going, the, if I fired my first two rounds, fired first round real, real smooth, uh, then went to the second group and just pop, pop, you know. So this is gonna be one of those guns that's gonna make you wanna shoot fast. So you're gonna start shooting faster as you get used to doing this. Only thing is, is that always gets expensive. Can't imagine getting hit with 245 rounds, that 245 caliber slugs that fast. Uh, so on the, of course you can see this is on safe, but we, we're still in the cocked and locked position, which is safe for this gun to be carried this way. You got your uh, magazine release, is a really big, uh, really big nice mag, mag release there. Of course it's still as well. Uh, it is reversible to the other side. You have really large controls on here, so you're not gonna have any problem working this gun and operating it. Uh, it's starting to rain on us out here, so uh, you might see a little bit of water and reflection off this but you got all really big controls on here the serrated thumb cocking hammer uh, comes in really handy i'm going to go ahead and uh, one i'm just going to demonstrate you know if you don't want to carry this in the cocked and locked position uh, it, what, now i have one live round in the chamber so if i want to drop the hammer on this and carry it in double action only so that it, it makes it a little less uh, it makes it a little harder for any type of accident to happen you have to have a much heavier trigger pull you're going to have to put this in on fire and then you're going to have to pull the trigger and you have to let the hammer go home slowly so as you can see that is a uh, something that you would want to do with great care if you want to carry the gun in this configuration here. If you want to carry it on safe with the hammer down so that when you draw the gun and you hit the safe you have a really heavy double action trigger pull up front. So the only way to do that, you know like SIG and some of the other, a lot of the other guns, they have a decocking lever here. This one does not. Uh, which is not a big deal for me, you know, this is something I would, at home I, I could just quite easily do, just point over in the you know corner of the house there where I know that I'm not going to hit anything or destroy anything and just be very careful and making sure that this isn't pointed in a safe direction when I put it into this position here. But I'm going to go ahead and shoot a couple uh, with a double action, single action. Okay, so go ahead and put it back into double. Put it back into double. Back into double. All right, so the double action feels about like a, feels probably about like eight pounds. The single action is probably, I'm guessing in the two and a half to three pounds. So the single action, is working is, is is very light it's going to be really accurate it's just going to be you think about the gun going off and it's going to go off so that's a pretty good thing on that that I like the sights we haven't adjusted any of the sights yet and we haven't uh tinkered with any of that comes with three dot uh adjustable combat sights so you got your three dot sights here and it's fully adjustable for windage and elevation so you'll be able to get this uh into any configuration you want comes with the tool for you to be able to make all your adjustments, little Allen wrenches and little sight tools and stuff like that. So you can take this and, and put it where you put it where you need it. Um, comes down, comes apart really easily. So one of the things on here that I like as well is that they add on here. So this, so this is empty now. Just want to just confirm that it's empty because I'm going to pull, go ahead and pull the trigger, set it in there, set it home. So on here you have two dots on this frame where these two dots line up. So you'll take it like this, you'll pull back just a little bit, these two dots line up right here, and then this will pull out and it'll disassemble. Uh, it doesn't have a lever or anything like that up here. So those things, different designs uh, and weight savings, not having decock or not having the big lever and everything on there to take all this down. So it gives you a little bit of weight savings, but this is still a, 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 whole, a, a steel gun. Everything on this gun is steel except for the polymer uh, grips, which the grips are really good. I like the stippling and everything they have on here. Uh, really nice design. Don't have any problem getting, uh, getting a nice tight grip on it. The serrations on the back are just the long straight uh, serrations just like you'd see on your Beretta or something like that. And then you have the, a little bit of serration on the front of the trigger guard if you'd like to wrap your finger up around that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and load up and with the other ammo and we're gonna t do some other shooting with the other. So as we always like to do here on gun stuff, we take it out, we, we shoot a couple different uh, stations, we go out 50, we go out to 100. So right now we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of our uh, distance here. So coming up, go ahead and load it. All right, one of the other things I like about this also is that you have the loaded chamber 
uh, indicator in the hood here so you ha you can look down in and I can see that this there's a round in the chamber so that's one of the things that I like to see on a on, on the newer firearms as they come out all right so let's go uh, let's go at 50 All right, so if uh, we can see down range there on the target, uh, I'm aiming center mass, and of course we haven't we haven't adjusted any of the sights or anything on here, and all of my impacts are down in the uh, in the lower in the lower right, you know, as I'm looking at the target. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to offset. I'm use a little Kentucky windage. I'm going to aim up at the uh, upper upper left shoulder, put a couple rounds on it, and then I'll see if that holds true when I go out to uh, 100 yards. All right, so I shot a little bit wider group on that one, but my offset aiming is working. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reach out to 100 and I'm gonna go ahead and keep the same uh, hold. Ah, I can't tell. We got to get the binos out. So we're going to take a look at it through the binos and see where we're hitting. All right, so we just shot the 50. Uh, we were doing good on the 50. I used a little Kentucky windage, but then once we got out to, uh, I, sh I took a couple shots at the 100. I took like two shots. We weren't even hitting still. So we went back to the bench real quick, fired a couple rounds. I put a couple twists on the, on the elevation and windage on this thing to try and get me somewhere close into, so that way we can uh, see just how well we can shoot at 100. So we just adjusted some sights on here, and now we're gonna take another follow-up on the 100 yard target. So the third shot, uh, if you can see on the ground, we're standing in mole hills and stuff out here. So as I, as my shot was getting ready to break for the third shot, I kind of felt myself, I just kind of sunk into one of those hills. So I didn't expect to hit that anyways. So I went ahead and followed up with a fourth shot. But as you can see, once we got these things dialed in, I mean, we're, we're throwing 45 uh, down range at 100 yards. You know, we'll, we'll, we may go down and take a look at that here in a little bit, but uh, this thing is shooting great. It's phenomenal. This is, for what you get in this, is a, a great package. So these are coming in between $360 and $420, depending on what option you get. They also come with a compact model, which basically comes in right about here and uh, shortens the magazine just a little bit. And we have one of those in stainless as well. You may have seen that on our website and some of our uh, some of our uh, social media stuff. But these things look great and they perform great. And they've been making these things for a long time. And so these, this thing is, is just uh, is, is dead accurate at 100 yards. So this is more than anything we could expect out of a uh, $360 uh, 45. So we know we like it and we hope you like it too. All right, we'll go ahead and show you the 100 yard target. So we stepped off, I, I ended a little bit early back there, but uh, here's where we hit it at 100 yards. So uh, when I, this is my first shot, second shot, third shot was off to the right a little bit because I sunk down into that mole hole as I was shooting, but then I came back and sent a follow up in my fourth shot, and I believe this was probably, I believe this was my fourth shot, but I can't really tell, uh, of course. But one of, the, one of the cool things about it is that, you know, you're shooting these things and the, they, you know, you're shooting these 45 cal, uh, bullets here and these these expanding projectiles so I could just coming up here in this high grass I could see the channel I cut in the side of the hill with this round as it hits and collects that dirt and opens up and tumbles a little bit so it cut a nice groove right up the side so I could see just by aligning myself bending down aligning myself to the target exactly where my impact was so I was off right about here when I when I went went on that one shot and then came back up and made another is this is you know we've shot we've shot far better groups at 100 yards but still we're looking at a uh, an entry level uh, 
45 caliber as far as entry level on price, but the quality of the gun is still up there on par with your SIGs and everything else from what I can feel today and from what I've seen of it and the feel of the trigger and the fit of the gun. But again, we like it here and we hope you do too. We'll see you next time.